So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to mount the front sensors to the rear of the vehicle. We do that by using the standard wheel alignment clamp which mounts directly onto the wheel like that. So once the clamp is mounted we are going to take the rear sensor and we're going to mount it. Switch it on okay and lock it into place. Likewise with the other side. But we now take our auto scanner, we switch it on, select our vehicle, mounting the OBD2 into its respective port. We then take that and mount it on top of the steering wheel like that. Once we've carried out our vehicle selection. Right, after you've set the thrust line and wheel alignment of the vehicle, you uh, push the alt button and the yellow button. It takes us into our ADAS correction screen. We then push the green button. It says, are you sure? Would you like to progress to the next point? Absolutely, we now progress to the, to the next point. We now continue with the setup of the ADAS system. Now we come to the natural adjusters provided by the ADAS system. And we center the pin, the bubble, Right, we now take our rear sensors, which have the bubbles on it, and we mount it into the ports of the adapters provided for your Autel uh, ADA system. Once we've done that, we lock it into place and we level it on the little bubble as indicated on the, um, on the machine. All right, once we've done that, we've got to get the uh, trigger center point onto the center of the vehicle. There it is. And we adjust that into the center of the emblem of the vehicle. But once we've achieved that, all we do is we progress to the next logical step by pushing the green button. The machine will then indicate to us to level our, to level our sensors which we do by moving them upward and downward. Once level, once level, a check mark will appear on the screen. When this picture appears on the screen, obviously the, the, um, the indication will be exactly what to do. Here's a steer indicator, and here is a yaw indicator. So your yaw and your steer have to equate to gain true centrality of the mechanism versus the vehicle. But that is done by means of two adjusters. There's a lock adjuster which we loosen and all we do is we center it on the screen. Bend to the screen. Once your levels have been achieved you'll have two green offset offsets showing. Obviously you want to get as close to zero as possible. But once you have that equalization showing, your, the vehicle is now ready for its total ADAS calibration. The normal technique of doing this would be by means of tape measures to the center of the wheel, which isn't nearly as accurate as this technique. Obviously the vehicle has to be spaced 10 to 12 feet from the ADAS system. So you have a 10 to 12 foot span so that um, the uh, uh, depth of field can be projected at exactly that distance as indicated by the manufacturer of the vehicle. Thank you.